Now, the way that we train dogs is we use negative reinforcement followed by positive reinforcement. So all behaviors will then receive two dopamine dumps instead of just one. If all I do is positively reinforce a behavior, I'm only associating one major dopamine dump with every reward cycle. What I'm hoping to do in stacking both negative and positive reinforcement is create both a dopamine dump at the relieval of pressure and then a second one at the application of the mark and reward. So, simple kind of concept. Now, here's the reason I'm doing that. If I teach using positive reinforcement only, okay? So, dog does, I pay, dog does, I pay, dog does, I pay. We do that over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. Dog does, I pay. The behavior of sitting never actually becomes valuable to the dog. Sitting is only a bridge to get the valuable thing. So sitting itself doesn't actually have a dopamine release associated with it. So it can only rise in value for the dog so much. When I add negative reinforcement in front of the behavior, I am now creating value in the position of sitting apart from the food because sitting reduces pressure for the dog. So it makes a slightly uncomfortable pressure go away. So now, not only does sitting have its own inherent value, but it is now also a bridge to another valuable thing. So we're taking and stacking two different sources of relief or positive neurotransmitters onto this individual behavior. So the negative reinforcer followed by the positive reinforcer.